Hey everyone, it's Kerbler again, and I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on the B9 Aerospace mod, which, as you know, is probably one of my favorite mods that I have for Kerbal Space Program. But, not just B9 Aerospace mod, I'm going to be showing you how to make VTOLs in it. Like this one right here. Um, yeah, VTOLs, if you want to make VTOLs, making them in the B9 Aerospace mod is just so much easier um, because of these VTOL engines. And it makes it a lot more realistic as well. So, we're going to make a plane that's basically this one, uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So we're going to open a new one, and choose your cockpit. I'm actually going to choose this one this time, just to mix things up a bit. And we're going to go to structural, and of course we're going to need a fuel tank. Now, I always put the fuel tank in the front, so I can just move it around later. I almost always end up moving it around, no, a faux tank. Sorry about that, guys. Had a bit of a problem there, but I'm back and I'm here to finish the tutorial. Um, so I was a fuel tank and then two uh, fuselages. I'm gonna add one more, and then a tail section because I think that makes things look so much better. Let's also add a stabilizer or tail, whatever you want to call it. It's a bit too large. How about that one? Ah, there we go. Nice and centered. No. That's nice and centered. That's a bit off the edge, but I don't really care. Um, let's put some winglets on. Uh, looks good, even though they're angled upward a bit. It's alright. Now I'll add the wings. I'm going to turn on my center mass and center of lift for this one. And before I do anything, I'm going I see that my center of mass is way up towards the front, so I'm going to grab my fuel tank and move it around further towards the back and just have fun experimenting with it until you get the right place. Maybe one further. All right. There we go. That looks pretty good. Then I'll add my wings. Maybe I'll try and add a different wing setup this time. Maybe some delta wings here, and then some like other. Oh well, never mind. Those are the delta wings. Delta wings there, and then have. That's a wing tip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, never mind. Uh. I think I'll just do the same kind of design I did on the last one. It's a lot more versatile. It's a bit more wobbly, but it's not too big of an issue, hopefully. Now since my center of... oh, whoops. Now since my center of lift is a bit further back than I would like it to be, I'm going to add some canards in the front to move it up a little bit further. Maybe I'll try some standard canards this time. There we go, put those there. Now it's, my center of lift is practically on the center of mass. Not exactly, but, oh well. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna actually gonna move these down, because I can. They're bugging me up there. Uh, with symmetry on. I'm also improved my center of lift a bit. Okay, now we're going to do the magic part with the VTOL engines, and I'm turning on center of thrust for this one. This is the most easy way to do VTOLs, is to use your center of thrust, because what the center of thrust does, it tells you where the average location of your engines are. Now, this one is a bit more powerful than this one, and it just uses the same amount of fuel. Oh no, it uses a tiny bit more, but why not use it? So basically, you just gotta put them down like this on the wings, these type of engines. And I'm gonna put down two because I don't think one is powerful enough. But first of all, I'm actually going to put an intake on them because they do need intakes to work. And they have their own special intakes over here. There we go. Now, We've got the. Now you're going to want to do the engines last so that the center of mass doesn't change. And you're going to want that little bar right there to be exactly in the middle of your center of mass. 
exactly in the middle of it. How do I center of lift? Diagonal. It's worrying. But well, now, I'm not going to put landing gear on it, because on a VTOL plane, I don't plan on landing it. And if I did, I would put landing gear on it. But you guys probably don't need to land your plane. Well, I don't. You guys probably do. But I don't, so... Got my canards on it. Now, oh, dang, I forgot one thing. I'm going to put an SAS on it, because the last plane I made, I forgot SAS, and I failed really badly. So the avionics control unit, for those who don't know what it does, it's basically like an SAS you can put on top of your plane. Oh, and that didn't mess up my center of mass too much. Should be fine. Okay, so, oh, oh, well, I forgot to set up with action groups, because with action groups, you can make it so that when you press one button, then your VTOL engines will transition. Uh, so I won't be able to transition them in mid-flight, but I can still do it manually on the runway. You do not want to have only one transitioned at a time while they're on, because then one starts moving and the other doesn't, and then your plane does a spiraling flip of death. That's not good. Just to let you know. Now these engines, they're really good compared to other VTOL things that most people have made because you don't have to have multiple engines, so it cuts down on weight drastically. And two, drastically, drastically, I don't know. But um, another thing is that they uh, transition between the two modes, so it actually makes a lot smoother transition instead of just going straight from forward to vertical, you go from forward to diagonal to vertical, and that just makes your plane a lot smoother when flying. Now if you do the the trick with the the center of thrust, you're almost guaranteed to get it to take off perfectly. So you don't have to keep testing over and over again with your VTOLs. Now so just turn the engines on and slowly increase your throttle. I'm doing now until it just barely gets off the ground. So if you shoot off the ground, I've had problems with the plane just moving a little bit and then doing a backflip. You want to be able to correct your moves. Now, I know I said that two wasn't enough, but apparently it was. Okay, well, there you go. I guess that's just more fuel efficiency then. Now, yeah, that that's not supposed to happen. That's probably a fail on my part, not on the game, or not on the planes, because I didn't correct it. Once again, like with VTOLs, if you don't correct a problem early on, it becomes really hard to correct. Like this one, I'm trying to fix it, but it's no use. It's just gonna crash. Yeah, there we go. Bye! Oh, it actually might have a chance. I'm holding down W and E right now. So, that just tells you how bad it's flying. But there you go. Yeah. So have fun with your VTOLs now, you guys. <laughs> Richard Kerman was killed. Oh, no. It's too bad. But there you go. It's an easy way to make VTOLs. It makes it a lot easier. Pretty much guaranteed to take straight off upwards every time. Um, like that other plane that I just made, it should be still unsaved or autosaved. Unless this one's autosaved. Nah, it's this one. Oh, well, I lost it. But anyways, have fun making VTOLs. This works in vanilla, too, but it's just... You have to do it before you make your other engine to make you go horizontal. Um, don't add on the engine part. So, say if I wanted to make this a, a vanilla VTOL, I would add, say, these engines here. Now, I know these aren't in vanilla, but I'm just using them as an example. Those engines there, and then I'll use the same engines here, but turned. Ah, whoops. Then turn. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Then upward. So this is my vanilla VTOL plane. Just don't put these engines on yet because they will mess your center of thrust up. So simply just do just move these around to get your center of thrust perfectly on there. And then add these ones directly on the center of mass so it doesn't really change it. So there you go, you guys. Uh, this plane probably won't work. <laughs> I'm gonna try it though for your entertainment. And which one of these? Those two. Okay. So, like I said, probably not going to work, but do you really care? No, you don't. 
Um, and after this, I'm going to end the video. Uh, so, I said it would be a short tutorial. A bit longer than I expected. But, oh well. I hope this will make VTOLs easier in Kerbal Space Program. Because, to be honest with you, I hated making VTOLs before I learned this trick. It was just so annoying and difficult, and I just did not like it. Do not like green eggs and ham, Sam I am. Whatever. I don't know. Turn those engines on. Yeah, it, it doesn't even want to get off the ground because they're not powerful enough. But you you know what I'm talking about. So, oh 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 oh, there you go. And as you can see, it works. And I'm just going to ah dang it! Why is it doing that? It's probably back heavy a little. I just didn't look at the thrust enough. <laughs> Ooh, about that whole correcting problem. Uh, or maybe it's a problem with the SAS, because I didn't use SAS when I flew it before. SAS shouldn't... Oh, yeah, SAS does mess the plane up a lot, actually. There we go. But, like I said, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so, there you go, guys. I'm Kerbler, and uh, if you enjoyed the commentary or the tutorial or whatever, then congratulations for you. Haha, you thought I was going to say subscribe, didn't I? Well, you know what? I'm not predictable. Well, maybe I am. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time.